hi guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome in today's video as you can tell from the title we are gonna go through some fake products that are available to purchase on ebay i have the original version of these products so we are going to be comparing them to the fake ones i'm going to go through the packaging the scent of them the feel of them and we're going to end up applying them to the face as well because i want to give you the full picture of how to identify when a product is fake without further ado let's jump right into it and see which fake products we have here today all right, so the first product we have here today is the Tarte Shape Tape. This is how the two packaging look like. This is the original one and this is the fake one. As you can see, the fake one is slightly darker and it has less red in it. It's more of like just a dark purple shade. Other than that though, the fake one looks extremely similar to the original one i don't think you could tell them apart if you didn't have them right next to each other again this one is the original one i think it's really easy to tell which one is the original because you can clearly see that it's lighter as you can see it's also slightly shorter than the fake one again the fake one doesn't have these pictures on it but that just might be different packagings done in different times here the real one has the barcode on the bottom, the fake one has it on the side. And as you can see, they're both supposed to be the shade of light. So now I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna show you the actual concealer. So this is the real one. As you can see, it has a really, really nice pinky tone to it, which I really, really love because I have cool toned skin, if you couldn't tell. So this shade suits me absolutely perfectly. And in comparison, this is how the fake one looks like. It looks a lot, a lot lighter. I don't exactly know why they just couldn't make the same shade, but I guess they don't really care that much. This is how they look like when you put them next to each other. As you can see, the real one has less contrast on the top of the packaging. The fake one has a much darker purple in it and the yellow gold is also a lot more prominently yellow and like i said before the shade itself is a lot lighter the concealer itself also feels a lot lighter than the real one and what i noticed that it's also a couple of millimeters shorter than the real one which is interesting because in the packaging the fake one was longer than the real one. I'm going to swatch them on the back of my hand for you. So this is the real one. As you can see, it's quite similar to my skin tone. Doesn't really have much scent to it. Now let's swatch the fake one. Like I said before, it is a lot lighter than the real one. But what really concerns me is the smell of it. It has a really unpleasant smell and... Because of that, I'm a bit scared putting it right under my eye, but I'm gonna try to be careful with it. Other than that, the consistency seems to be quite similar, at least as far as blending it on the back of my hand goes, but I do find the fake one a bit patchy. So we're gonna see how much it covers the under eye. I'm gonna start with the real one because I trust this product. I don't need to be worried about using it. So I'm going to start with that side and after that we're going to jump into the other side. I'm going to blend this out with the brush quickly. Now this shade is slightly lighter than my skin tone which I like because it very nicely brightens of the areas I want. I don't normally use it on the face to cover up spots. Thanks God I don't really get spots anyway but when I do I normally use my NARS concealer for that or at least a liquid concealer that is closer to my actual skin tone but because today's topic is partially this concealer I'm going to use this for everything and just make sure that I blend it out properly. 
I added just a little bit more here and blend that out before we jump onto the other side. Don't get me wrong, it's not my favorite concealer. I do think that it still looks slightly drier than the ones that I really, really love, but it is a nice concealer. I do find that it has a really high coverage and it's also quite easy to blend. Okay, so I'm gonna do the fake one now. I really hope that I'm not gonna have problems after this because God, this smells horrible. In case this is gonna cause any skin irritation or anything like that, I will let you guys know in the comment section. Okay, so the fake one definitely has less coverage because it's supposed to be a lot lighter than the other one, but it's it's not. It basically blends out to be the exact same color and because of that I know that it didn't give me the same kind of coverage. Other than that, very weirdly, it actually looks fine. I cannot see any particular issue with it. Like I said, the coverage is not as good as the original one. Smell is horrible. I will update you if it caused any irritation. Fingers crossed it won't. So that's the concealer so far. So now we're gonna need to set the face and for that we're gonna be using one of my favorite setting powders, which is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. If you guys don't know, I've done a video testing out this alongside with the foundation for the first time. And honestly, I love them both. They smell amazing. They work amazing. This setting powder and the foundation together are literally the only things that can keep my face matte throughout the day. I'm quite used to putting on my makeup, looking nice and then just by the end of the day looking like an oily mess, foundation breaking down, not feeling comfortable in my skin. So for me this powder and the foundation were a complete game changer. So I cannot recommend you enough to give this one a go. I have had this powder for a while now, so I don't have the packaging of it. This is how the packaging of the fake one looks like. Obviously it looks a bit damaged, but I would say that it might be due to delivery. Obviously, I had to order all of these fake makeup on eBay from China, so, you know, it's a long way, all the way to the UK. Nevertheless, the packaging looks otherwise really, really similar to the real one. They even went as far as putting a batch code on it, so they really tried their best with the packaging. Overall, I would say it does feel quite cheap though. So once again, this is the real Peach Perfect powder and this is the fake one. As you can see, they look almost identical at first glance. They look really, really similar. If I put them next to each other, you can see that even the colors, the shade of gold, everything just seems really, really similar. I think the one thing that gives it away is that the edge of the real one is quite smooth, whilst the edge or the fake one feels a bit sharper. And also on the real one, this transparent container is in line with the lid. So if you rub your finger on the side, you don't really feel anything. Whilst on the fake one, the transparent plastic is sticking out a little bit. So it's almost like they didn't measure it properly what size it should be. And therefore the bottom part of the packaging is slightly bigger than the lid. As you can see, the bottom of the packaging looks slightly different as well. However, that could be simply because at the time the company creating the fake products decided to copy the Too Faced powder. They had a different packaging and Too Faced since updated their packaging and the people creating the fake version didn't bother updating their version as well. Nevertheless, this is the original one. As you can see, the sticker is nicely 
placed in the center on the fake one I don't know if you can tell but it's not exactly in the middle it again has a batch code on it which is quite interesting it's not matching the packaging though so I don't know what's the point of that once you take off the lid this is how the original lid should look like it's white inside and it has a quite thick wall. The fake one on the other hand is black inside and it has a quite thin wall. Therefore, the original one has a quite thick rim around and that is basically to allow enough space for the lid. Whilst on the other hand, the fake one hardly has any. This plastic opener is a lot larger on it. And another important thing to mention is that this one does not smell like peaches. I know it's really, really hard to swatch powder, but I'm just going to apply some of it here on the back of my hand. As you can see, it's completely translucent and it smells absolutely lovely. And now here is the fake one. Okay, first of all, the fake one, as I'm rubbing it in, it almost feels like sand, so definitely does not feel smooth at all. It is translucent though, so we're gonna see. So first again, I'm taking the original one. It's a beautiful peachy shade that turns completely transparent and it creates a beautiful matte layer completely setting your makeup and like I said it smells absolutely amazing it smells sweet when it touches your lips you can feel that it's so sweet and I don't know for me it's just a beautiful product especially if you have a young daughter just getting into makeup I feel like they would love something like this all right, so half of the face set with the original one. Now we need to jump into the fake one. Once again, it does not smell like peaches at all. It smells like your grandma's soap, actually. And it definitely doesn't have the same peachy tone to it. Well, I guess if the concealer didn't irritate my eyes, then now this will. It's literally flying everywhere and it's just so dangerous. Imagine you have no idea what's in this product and it can very easily fly into your nose. I really hate when the powder is just flying everywhere. I feel like at least half of the products I try to use actually ends up on either my desk or on my clothes or inside my nose and I feel like with the pressed powder you don't need to worry about things like that and I don't bake anyway so I don't need that excess amount of product to set my makeup. All right so the fake side is done and I would say that around the eyes it's not looking the best. Let me just zoom you in for a second. So what I'm talking about is this area where basically the concealer and the powder mat. I feel like it's looking extremely dry and it's almost like the concealer is missing in patches and yeah, it's not looking good at all. Just in comparison, this is how the original side looks like. Anyways, we're gonna move on now to one of my favorite face palettes, which is the Benefit Cheek Leaders Bronze Squad Palette. This has a beautiful, beautiful highlighter, one of my favorite blushes from Benefit, and obviously the Hula Bronzer, they put that into every single face palette. This is honestly such a nice compact palette, and I feel like a lot of different skin tones can work with this palette. So this is how the outer packaging looks like on the original one. And this is how it looks like on the fake one. As you can see, all of the girls are really, really tanned and almost orange. You can definitely tell that they copied the packaging and the printout just 
was on the same quality. You have the original one on the top, the fake one on the bottom. I think this little ribbon definitely gives it away. It's supposed to be a very, very light peachy orange shade and on the fake one it's just straight on orange. Also just look at the skin tone on this poor girl. She looks like a female version of Donald Trump. On the back of the packaging, basically the same thing repeats. On the fake one, everything looks really, really dark and reddish. A part of that, there's really not much to say about the packaging because they literally just copied the whole thing. So there's really no difference in the fake one and the real one a part of the fake one being a lot darker and more red. Now the actual palette, this is how the real one looks like. Again, the same girls on the outside. Inside you have a mirror and a quite important detail is that inside the mirror you have a little card and that card basically explains to you how to use the products. On the fake one, the girls are again extremely orange. And like I said, that card is a very important detail. You don't have it in the fake one at all. So if you buy a palette that doesn't have that card behind the mirror, unfortunately you have a fake one. It's not the only thing that gives it away though. All of the shades, as soon as you open the palette, look extremely weird. Now I must say that though, that if this is the only ever benefit palette you had, you probably won't notice the difference, but all of the shades are really, really off. I'm gonna quickly insert swatches for you to show you the real versus the fake one. The fake ones are completely off and even just in the palette this gold rush and cookie looked so 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 bad when I first opened it honestly I could tell straight away that this is a fake palette it is also a lot lighter than the original one not suspiciously light though so again if you never held the original one in your hand you wouldn't be able to tell just based on the weight of it. The corners are really badly done and they're really, really sharp. Obviously on the original one, they are completely seamless. One more important detail is that on the original one, you have a batch code, whilst on the fake one, you don't. All right, so let's just jump right into the application of these now. I'm gonna start on the original side every time and then jump into the fake one. And first, obviously, we want to start with the shade Hula and bronze up the face a little bit. I always need to be super careful with this shade because I don't know what it is about this color, but I'm really bad with applying the shade Hula. When I work with something like the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, that always looks stunning whatever I do, but I feel like with Hula I can overdo it very, very easily and start looking like a clown. I think it might just be that it's actually too dark for me. When I mix this one with Hula Light, it definitely looks a lot healthier, a lot better on me, but we don't have Hula Light in this palette. We have Hula Caramel, which is actually even more orange than this one, so I definitely cannot use that shade. Let's see the fake Hula. It's looking a lot darker in the pan. Maybe they didn't lie on the packaging and you are gonna look as orange as the girls. It's quite easy to blend though, so I'm not mad about the performance. I mean, I am, but I'm not as mad as I thought I would be. All right, well, that's the bronzer done. Now I'm gonna jump into the blush, and of course I'm gonna take Coralista. I can definitely say that Coralista and Peaches from MAC are my two favorite blushes of all time. They look quite peachy, orangey at first, 
but with my skin tone they actually look lovely this shade Coralista is just a tiny little bit more pink than my skin so it's very subtle very lovely and the shade peaches is just a little bit more than this but it's such a natural healthy looking blush i honestly love them both very very much so that's coralista on the real side and now let's see the fake coralista that looks really orange on the brush Mm, and it looks really shimmery on the face it literally oh god it it literally looks like just an orange shimmer i feel like i don't even need highlighter on this side it should be a lot more much than this so highlighter time i'm definitely taking cookie Cookie is such a gorgeous highlighter. It can be literally whatever you want it to be. It can be really, really subtle or it can be visible from space. It really just depends on how much you use. I used quite a lot today, but as you can see, it's giving you a really, really beautiful glow. And when you're looking at me straight, you can't see anything, only when I turn. I think it's a lovely, lovely highlighter. Okay, let's see the fake one. It looks brown on the brush. Am I crazy? Okay, okay, so this shade in the fake palette, it's a yellow gold shade, whilst the original one is a silvery gold shade so it's a lot more cool toned as you can see this one is really really yellow yeah yeah okay so this is an orange palette basically if you're orange then this fake face palette is gonna be your dreams come true i mean as long as you're happy with not knowing what's inside the product Nevertheless, the face is done. The last thing we have in today's video to compare to the original one is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. For me personally, this was my favorite chocolate bar palette from Too Faced. I had this one and the original one when it first came out in the original packaging. I did really like that palette, but I think that was because I didn't have anything else and I also used to have this one back then and then I got rid of it but then when I recently went to TK Maxx I saw this for a really really reasonable price and I decided to pick it up and if you haven't seen it yet I've done a one palette three looks with this palette at the time because I wanted to play around with it a little bit and see how it compares to my other palette and I must say I wasn't impressed in a way that this palette feels quite outdated we are used to having more colorful and more pigmented palettes this is how the chocolate bonbons palette look like inside it's a really really neutral palette with a couple of shades that can kind of change the look you have this really really dark purple a quite beautiful dark blue and then you have this dark pink a medium shimmery pink and a very light pink that's more like a topper shade it doesn't have much pigmentation to it i do really love however these beautiful grayish neutral shades in this palette so i do still sometimes reach for this palette but mainly on days when I don't really want to wear a lot of makeup. I just want to have a little bit of an eyeshadow on. Because don't get me wrong, this is still a really, really good eyeshadow palette. I just feel like it's not on a trend right now. Because we are more into very bright, very opaque eyeshadows that will allow you to create very artistic very precise looks using them and this is definitely not that once again i love these shades but it's not what's trending right now so i still have this palette but 
I don't really use it to create looks on Instagram or I don't really use it here on YouTube either. So this is how a fake one looks like. I would say at first glance, you cannot really tell that this is a fake palette. When you put them next to each other with the real one though, I don't know if it comes through on the camera, but you can see that the fake one is a lot more blue. The original one is just a really, really beautiful pink. I don't know if it has more red in it or more yellow, but it's definitely a warmer shade. This one is almost like a lilac shade. It's really, really cool toned. On the back of the packaging, there's literally no difference, except that the real one has a batch code and the fake one doesn't. This is how the fake one looks like. As you can see, I have swatched these shades already. I'm gonna insert the swatches for you in a second, but yes, as you can see, most of the shades do appear to be darker in the center and the reason for that is because as soon as you start swatching them they create a film on the top making it really really hard to get any color out sometimes i even had to scratch the shade to get anything out for the swatches so it's definitely not the best palette and even with scratching the shade which should allow you to get a lot of product out and get the maximum pigmentation out of it. They just don't really show up. So I don't expect too much from this palette, to be honest. Also, whilst the original one smells like chocolate, the fake one actually smells like a public bathroom. I don't know if you've ever been to these like public showers where they use a lot of bleach. It actually smells like bleach, which is really concerning. I don't know what causes that smell, honestly. Let's just quickly put an eyeshadow look together and move on. So first on both sides, I'm gonna start with the shade Mocha. Again, I'm gonna start on the original side. One thing I wanted to mention about this eyeshadow palette is that it's not super pigmented, like I said before but it's really, really easy to blend and you literally have no fallout. So again, if you have a daughter or someone who loves beautiful things and things that smell nice, but wants to use makeup that's really foolproof and not messy, then these chocolate bar palettes are definitely that. I think they're really, really great, honestly. All right, now I'm gonna take some of Mocha on the fake side. It seems to be quite pigmented, but it smells horrible. Actually, I'm quite surprised that that brown shade is almost identical. Now I'm gonna take the shade Malted on a smaller, more precise brush and just add it to the outer corner and a little bit to the socket of the eye as well. And some of it goes under the eye, just on the outer half. Now to the fake side. So again, we're taking the shade Malted from the fake palette. And I don't wanna do any like cut crease or anything serious today. So I'm just gonna take a lighter shade to fill up the inner half of the lid. And for that, I'm gonna take Cashew Chew and I'm literally just gonna brighten up that inner half. And now the same thing on the fake side. I feel like in the fake palette, everything is a little bit less cool toned, including this color. 
And now to warm it up a bit, I'm gonna use Bordeaux instead of Morted, but we're gonna basically apply the shade to the same areas that we did before. So it's almost gonna be like the socket of the eye and the outer V. And I'm gonna use the same brush as before as well. So basically we're just using Bordeaux instead of Morted. All right, now I'm taking the Bordeaux shade from the fake palette. I think this seems to be the first shade that's actually less pigmented than the original one. And I'm gonna take some of Satin Sheets to put it in the inner corner and a little bit on top of Cashew Chew as well. And now let's see the fake Satin Sheets. Okay, so the fake Satin Sheets is definitely not as shimmery. Now to warm up this look a little bit more, I'm gonna take some of Totally Fetch. And basically, I just want to warm up this whole brown area with it. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I just wasn't happy with Bordeaux. It should kind of melt into the cool brown shade and just add some richness to it. All right, let's see Totally Fetch in the fake palette. Totally Fetch kind of did what I wanted it to do on the fake palette, but the dark brown shades blended away and that shimmery shade is not shimmery. So my two eyes look really, really different right now. But that's it for today. I'm gonna quickly go off camera. I'm gonna finish my makeup and I'll be back in a second. All right, so here's the finished look. Once again, this is the fake side and this is the real side. Obviously, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that any of these fake products was great. You need to remember that on the packaging of the fake products, you never see the real ingredients. They're always gonna be replaced by cheaper ingredients, less quality. You literally don't know what's in there. I've heard things like urine or rat poison being in these products and that's just truly terrifying. So this video is for educational purposes only. I'm not trying to encourage anyone to go and buy any of these fake products, even if you thought that they performed fairly well. I would still say if you don't have the money for the real deal, just go and get something from the drugstore. Do not buy any of these fake products because there is literally no testing, no control over what's in the product. It's really, really bad. So this video is really just to show you what you purchase or what you're seeing online is real or not and how you can tell based on the performance if you have the real deal or not. Obviously, if you have the real one, it should perform like this. And if you have the fake one, then it's gonna look more like this. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I would love to have you here. And until next time, take care of yourself. I will see you very soon. Bye.